Hello allihopa everybody and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Alola video. Well, we have just beaten the Pokemon League and are now the first ever champion in Alola. So, let's just see what's happening here now. We're back to our house, home, room in uh, Mele Mele Island or on Mele Mele Island. Let's see what happens. <laughs> There's my hump. Looks like you slept well, Lurcy. Hey how? Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Meow. Hey. Oh, and there's that Cantonia meow. Look at that shiny coin on your head. Kitty kitty. Meow. Okay then. How? Meow to you too. Oh, by the way. There were some pretty interesting people looking for you too, Lurksy. So, come on, let's get out of here. The champion of Alola doesn't get to just uh, stay inside all day. No, that's true. That's true. So, let's head out and let's just see what mom has to say. As long as you have a love for adventure, then I guess you and your Pokemon Island... Then you and your Pokemon's Island Challenge doesn't, doesn't ever really have the end. God. Then I guess you and your Pokemon's Island challenge doesn't ever really have to end, huh? Damn, that's hard to read. Some of this translation is just uh, messed up. Oh, hey there, Lurksy. Congrats on you becoming the champion. I haven't quite figured out what a champion is, but you're very strong, correct? I have a favor I must ask you. Ultra Beasts have appeared on Pony Island. They must have been come through the Ultra Wormhole created by Necrozma. And being the champion means you're stronger than the island Kahuna, right? Me and the CGI are gonna go too. Nice, of course. You are two of the best trainers in all of Alola. Nice. Uh, we are heading to Pony Island now. Would you like to accompany us? Of course I will, Dulce. All right, another trip together. Yes, yes, we'll do another trip together, so see. So let's head to Pony Island and see what we've got here. Uh, hey, it's the Pony Path, Pony, Pony Plains we never get to access before. Look, see over here. Uh, if we head into Pony Group here, there are Ultra Beasts right here in Alula. My young friend Lurksy, congratulations on becoming champion. I have heard that your final battle against Master Ha was quite fiery. And now the two of you will look into the mysterious of the Ultra Beast. Is that right? I will support you however, however I can. I brought you both a little something. Ooh. And we got... Big Malasada. Of course, how's, how is happy now? He's got some food with him. My Decidui loves Malasadas too. Thanks, Miss Wiki. Young Master Gladian also left something with me for you. It is Type Null. Oh. You received Type Null. Sweet. That's a pretty nice gift. So, we have another deck center here. Here's Type Null. So, this is the way you received Null in. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I remember back when it was on Pokemon Sun and Moon, you had to go to Aether Paradise, and I think you had a battle with uh, Gladion, and then you got your Null. But uh, this is another way to do it. So if I want to have a good Null, I may have to reset the game here and receive Null after Null, or he may be locked at some special stats. Alright then, type Null to Dix. Let's see what the Pokédex has to say about him, or her, or it. A Pokémon weapon developed for a specific mission. It went berserk during an experiment, so it was cryogenetically frozen. Whoa. 
No thanks, no nickname for my null. And off to the box you go, mister. I'll also entrust you with all of the memory drives needed to change the type of type nulls. Evolution, the Pokemon Sil Valley. Ooh. Awesome. So you get all the memory drives. Type null? It was being researched as a possible weapon to be used to fight the Ultra Beasts. But I think a trainer like you, Lurxy, Master Gladion thinks you'll be able to show Type Null that there is much more to this wide world than that. Man, that Gladion. He just doesn't want to let me win, does he? When he gets back from the training of his, I'm definitely asking him for a battle. But now I'm off to Pony Group. The members of the Ultra Recon Squad were also making for po Pony Groove, I believe. Alright then, so Pony Groove. It is then. Okay, so it's first Pony Groove, and then we're getting to Pony Planes. I think here's the space that I can meet, or that I can. Uh, what is it called? Where I can encounter a Chansey, Blissey, Lucario, and uh, all the other awesome looking Pokemon. I know definitely was Jatini a bit far ahead in Pond Plains. There you are, the Ultra Beats known as Lesceptalon are wandering here in Pony Groove. They must be very uneasy being here in a new world. I should know that's how I was too. I seem to recall you being beside yourself with excitement, Saucy. Moving right along, here are some beast balls for you. They're the same ones you can buy at Aether Paradise, but they gave them to us since this is an emergency. Isn't that nice? Ah, sweet. So we got five beast balls for an emergency. And I can buy the beast balls now. Awesome. For you too, how? Hey, thanks. So if you're giving us these balls, does that mean you want us to catch them? We want to get the data that will help us protect the Ultra Beasts. If you would accept the Lesceptalon as your partners, it would be of great assistance to us. Oh, and for the record, it seems that uh, there are at least three of Lesceptalon. They're probably nervous, and that makes them rowdy. A battle will help them calm down. Sounds good to me. Come on, Lurxy, let's go help the Blesseptalon. The Blesseptalon. Blesseptalon. I really don't know how to pronounce that thing. Yeah, Blesseptalon. Blesseptalon, come out, come out wherever you are. Man, that's creepy. Alright then, so let's find us a Blesseptalon. And our first encounter is, of course, a Blesseptalon. Blaze of Talon. Special attack rolls sharply. So, I don't think I have any quick balls left. <laughs> that, that really matters. Let's uh, just try and beat him down a bit. Oh, crapper. Okay, so we won't go any further down. Uh, use next Pokemon and well, let's go for Raichu and let's try to throw a Beast Ball at it and see what what happens. Fast Ball, Print Ball, and we have a Beast Ball here somewhere. There it is. One, two, three, and we got us a blessed Helen. Blessed Helen. Blessed Helen. There's no T in blessed Helen. Blessed Helen. God, I really need to know how to pronounce that thing. It would be so much easier if they had some dialogue in here so I can, like, hear how it's supposed to be pronounced. Well, one Ultra Beast to the dicks. It slithers toward people, then without warning it triggers the explosion on its own head. It's apparently one kind of Ultra Beast. Alright. 
No nickname please, and off to the box you go, bless it Helen. Lurksy, over here! That the Blasepalon was too strong, I was nowhere even close to catching it. But it will now likely keep itself hidden for a while and it won't attack other Pokemon. We can use this time to gather data and to work with the, the 8th Foundation to capture it. How? Lurksy, you were both amazing. Let's see, it seems like there are still a few Blasepalon wandering around. Gotcha! I'll be sure to capture one this time and hand it over to the Ultra Rica squad. Bless it! Bless it, Alan! Where are you? Alright, so let's try to find another one. I don't really know if I even need to find another one. But let's just heal up our awesome looking... I think I really just need one small here because he he will kill my ghost pod or faint my ghost pod and this is not the blessed one it's a pincer bug versus bug uh, well I'll just leave this one to be honest I don't need a Here's the Ultra Beast. So he will throw off an explosion with his head. So let's just do the first impression. Get our ghost spot fainted and try to catch it again. So fight and first impression. And now he sets off. Uh, mind blown. Okay, so I, I avoided the attack. Awesome kick. And a beast ball. Not that easy this time. He's using shadow ball, so let's just keep on going with the beast balls. So I just got lucky last time. One. Two, three, and our second Blacephalon. Blacephalon! Is H. I don't know if I should even pronounce H. Well, it doesn't really care, does it? Some level ups. And no thanks, no nickname for our Blacephalon. Lurksy! How gave us the Blacephal on the cart? This will help us get, get the data we can use to protect the Ultra Beasts. Perhaps a day will come where the Ultra Beast will live here in Alola as normal Pokemon. More things for us to research. We are grateful for your help. I'm sure we will meet again. 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 Alright. Those were some epic battles, the Seedry had a good time too. Come on Lurksy, let's head home. Alright, so... Home? That fast. The next day. Hey... We have probably recovered our Pokemon. So, let's head out again and let's see what the world has to bring us. Alright, I've put it long <coughs> I've put it off long enough. Now that Lurksy has become the champion. Meowth, this is it. We're really definitely going to put away these boxes today. On a foot <laughs> She has still not packed up yet and I have become the champion of Alola. Damn! It's a nice whale cup mug. Oh, now who could that be? Well, it's Sophocles. <sighs> Lurksy, I... I... You got to... Welcome? Oh, oh, sorry to come bargaining like that. It was in a hurry, and I just... Oh, are you one of Lurksy's friends? I'm his mom. It's so nice to meet you. Wow. <laughs> 
sorrow, please. I mean, I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'm so please. I'm a very sorry Sophocles. <sighs> sorry, let me calm down a bit. I, I came because I need your help. Lurksy, a bunch of strange guys appeared out of nowhere and they took over Festival Plaza. Damn. Oh, it's time! The space here suddenly became all twisted and then the programming of the plaza was rewritten. That's why the castle looks so... cool. <laughs> oh, you get it, Lexi. Yeah, the way it's so dark and me menacing. Whoever did this certainly has cool tastes in architecture. <laughs> Still, they broke through my impenetrable security system, even if they did take advantage advantage of a system malfunction and they've taken complete control of Pistol Plaza, be careful, these guys know what they're doing. Please, Lurksy, you've got to help me take back Pistol Plaza. Yes, of course, so please. I'm glad that you're with me, Lurksy. You're the champion, after all. Well, let's get to it then. Gulp. I don't know how to make a, a high gulp sound at all, to be honest. Let's just see if I'm even recording my mic. Yes, I am. Hey, who are you? Nobody should be able to enter Team Rocket's castle. I... I have admin rights. What? How dare you try to confuse me with your nerdy language. <clears throat> no matter. Team Rocket's castle is under our control. There's nothing you can do, whoever you are. <laughs> and so on. It seems like this group calls itself Team Rocket. They definitely don't seem like nice people. I can't believe I've, I've allowed Fessel Plaza to be taken over by people like them. Still, he said this castle was under their control. What exactly did he mean? You must say, I'll check. I got it, Lurksy. They have some sort of program, program lock that prevents us from using the Pokemon in our party. We need to figure out some way to get Team Rocket out of here, but without using our own Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Alright then, so how are we supposed to do this? Can I... Let's just ask around a bit. It turns out we can't use our own Pokemon either. Thank goodness for the battle, battle agent. <laughs> Thank goodness for the battle agent agency. We can still use our other people's Pokemon after all. Oh, do you have any ideas on how to get Team Rocket out Team Rocket out of here, Lurksy? I think so. Do you have any ideas on how to get Team Rocket out of here, Lurksy? The ba battle agency. The battle agency? Ah, of course! If we use the battle agency rules, we can use other people's Pokemon to battle. It doesn't matter if we can't use our own. Just a sec. Using my admin rights to access the debug features, rebooting the reception program. Hey! I made it so we can use the battle agency now, too. I wish there were more I could do, but I can't even access my full admin rights. I need you to defeat Team Rocket using the battle agency legacy. I'll try and get back uh, complete admin access while you keep them busy. Alright, so I'm supposed to use another people's Pokemon, another Pokemon team. Welcome to the Battle Agency. The Battle Agency is a facility where you use a borrowed Pokemon and battle along with visitors in Festival Plaza. You're an agent here and have a grade that shows how great you are as an agent. You can borrow a particularly strong Pokemon as an agent and the higher your grade gets, the stronger the Pokemon you can borrow. Raise your grade and aim to be a top agent. Now. 
Please select challenge to start your challenge, Mr. Lurksy. Uh, well, let's select challenge then. Alright, let's move to the battle preparation. We'd like to prepare for your battles. What we would like to do? Uh, well, let's choose some Pokemon. We can now lend you this Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like? Uh, well, I think I'll choose Samurott, to be honest. Uh, would you like to select this Pokemon? Yes, of course. Next, to ask other trainers to join your team to battle with you, but you don't seem to know trainers who you can ask to join your team. Uh, to ask trainers to be your teammates, please use Street Pass. You don't have enough teammates, so we'll introduce a trainer or two. Pistol Fan has been invited to join your team. Alright, so I get two Pistol Fans. Please select challenge to talk. start your challenge, Mr. Lurksy. Uh, last but not least, we request that you project the proper look as an agent at the battle agency. Good luck. Then let's go. Okay, so I need to have a correct look in battle agency. Ah, I need the glasses. Let me introduce the trainers who will battle along with you. Uh, how are you? Ha <laughs> uh, Installing a battle program type Team Rainbow Rocket. Damn. Oh, who are you? I'll beat you. Ah, uh, the old, the old uh, song, jingle, or how it's called. And he sends out a gold bat. Of course, he sends out gold bat. So go, Samurai. And we have razor shell assurance and retaliate. And our Z power is normal. All right then. So let's go for a water attack. I wonder if I can use any items. Samus was hurt by poison and he's defeated. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have Sog and Florges to choose from. Let's use soft now. I really didn't know that I had more than one type, than more than one Pokemon. Okay, so I'm using my teammates' Pokemons. Pokemon, not Pokemons. Uh, all right, so a close combat then. So now I'm playing like all the three, the three of us, uh, and not just me with uh, three Pokemon. And dang. Awesome, now it's down. Bye bye, Arbok. Clap, clap, clap. Impossible. This kid defeated me. That's unfair, you shouldn't be able to battle so eff effectively with other people's Pokemon. Bah, get him guys! Oh. We can't let you take back Team Rocket's castle, the boss plan depend on it. Just in time, full system restore. Target set to Team Rocket, executing kick from Festival Plaza. Oh. Ew, that was close. Thanks for your help, Lurksy. You kept them busy just long enough for me to get back full admin access. 
I just accessed the. Uh, I've used that access to lock out Team Rocket from Festival Plaza forever. I also restored all the features and everything to normal too. Uh, what about the design? I. Well, kind of like yeah, what they did with the castle. Even though they were our enemies, I'll add it as one of the themes. And I'll set up some boss data that will be perfect for this kind of castle. If you want to change the look of the castle, try raising your festival pass rank. Also, this is for you. You helped me out a lot. And I got an eject button. Uh, I'm really glad you came with me, Lurxy. Let's go home. So I'm back home again. Wow. Have they finally put away the packages? Oh, watch this, Lurksy. Mia picked up a new move recently. Wow. Mia turned on the TV. <laughs> So graceful, I bet I, it saw me turn on the TV and wanted to try it for itself. Okay, what a nice move. Use the Pokemon to turn on the TV. Why not? This just in. The Age Foundation is holding a press conference as we speak, addressing the black clouds that appeared over Poland Island. We go now to our live coverage at the scene. I know that many of you must have heard of the dark clouds covering Pony Island on the news. You may be feeling concerned now about the, what is going on, but let me put your fears to rest. This phen phenomenon was caused by a previously unknown Pokemon called Necrozma. Phenomenon, yeah? No? Necrozma passed through an ultra wormhole, a wormhole that connects different worlds, and came here to steal Alola's light. Chatter chatter, Necrozma, what does she mean, steal our light? There is nothing to be worried about, though. Thanks to the actions of one brave trainer, the threat has already been dealt with. Alola will not be swallowed by darkness. Flash flash. <laughs> Camera noises and flash antics. The Aether Foundation will conduct extensive research into the Ultra Wormholes so that we can prevent any such events in the future. To be specific, we will begin by... Oh? What? That hole? How is that possible? An ultra wormhole? But why now? Eek! Who exactly are you, sir? The technology of the Aether Foundation, the knowledge of other worlds, it will be very useful to Team Rocket, or rather, Team Rainbow Rocket. Did he mean to, su to suggest that his people created this ultra wormhole intentionally? We will not allow this to go unchecked. P President, please, come back! Hello, are you seeing this? The sudden turn of events has left the scene in chaos. Team Rainbow Rocket, is this some kind of prank? Episode Ultra Sun. Oh, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Episode Rainbow Rocket. I assume RR is Rainbow Rocket. Alright, so this is the aftermath. After the main story, it's about Rainbow Rocket. Oh, what happened to the TV, Lurksy? Wow. Oh, crapper. Now I wonder who that is. Lurksy. Well, Alola Lily. Uh, Alola, ma'am. I'm so sorry to come bargain in all of a sudden. Uh, I was just watching the news at the professor's lab and... And did you see it too, Lurksy? I sure did. Yes, an ultra wormhole opened up in the middle of the press conference. And then everything got so confused. Maybe it was some kind of performance. I'm sure Mother must be fine, but still. I, I'm going to see what is happening at 8th Paradise. I guess I just want to let you know. Sorry again for disturbing you. 
Okay, so it's Aether Paradise. Aether Fun. Aether Paradise, where you're heading to. Oh, did Lily leave already? I thought she came over for a visit. She did look worried though. I hope everything is okay. I'm glad that at least I never have to worry about you, Lurksy. Of course, Mom. Of course. So, I think that's a wrap for now. So, in the next next episode, tomorrow, we'll be heading to Eighth Paradise. Let's just check to see if it really is Eighth Paradise I'm heading to. And I can't do anything. Uh, it is as much as... And here's the map, and we're heading to Eighth Paradise, yes. Alright, so in the next episode we're heading to Eighth Paradise to find out what happened with Lusamine, uh, where's Lily, where Lily has went, and about Rainbow Rocket, and probably the big bad guy from the past. I can't remember, remember his name at all. It's Giovanni, I assume. That's still the head of Rainbow... of Team Rockets. The Rainbow Rocket. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye.